Guys, I am going to go broke. So all in the span of a day, one day, one day, I still have to catch up with a lot of other content. I'm, I, I'm maybe a third into everything that Eric gave me. And I haven't even touched the cigars Peter sent me. I got this. This came in today. You know what else came in today? La Flor de Silva, Year of the Dragon. This came in today. Can't really see it, but another Year of the Dragon. You think it stops there? Guess what else came in today? All five dragons from Gurkha. I'm talking about Gurkha with E.P. Carrillo. I'm talking about Gurkha with A.J. Fernandez, Gurkha with Aliva, and Gurkha with Oscar. All in one. All in one box. I never smoked a Don Burton cigar. And, and Peter sent me a bunch. This damn year, the dragon is taking over my soul. I can't get too mad because this is Placencia. One, look at that awesome looking dragon too both sides and then that's one in Nicaragua but I have one more thing I want to complain about I hate this one reviewer so much because his background is so beautiful his background has horses you have the nice palm trees it's just a very very amazing background and here I am you see you know it's cluttered <sighs> And the person might know who I'm talking about. Typically when I do my reviews, I drink water. There's times where I want Hugo. I meant juice. <laughs> so to counteract, to make my background more better than everybody else's out there who is reviewing, let's change it up a bit. I'm totally here at the beach. I meant space. I meant cabin or I meant, uh, I have horses in the background. See, you like the horses in my background. I could also have elephants. Uh, the ocean. I could be with a shark behind me. So yeah, I could have a nice background with animals. <laughs> it took way too long for me to set this up. Anyways, just just get into the review. And let me know if you actually like this concept. Here is the Placentia. Here, the dragon taking the foot off. Everything that we love is temporary. Please remember me when I'm dead and I'm buried. My mind just wants to be free. What's so big, right? I Ooh. Ooh, what's the earthiness? Chocolate, manure, barnyard. It's a lot of. Oh, okay, the foot has a woodsy to it. But the wrapper is so sweet. It's almost like chocolate. Almost like fertilizer too. Like manure. It's, ooh, this is going to be good. Or might be bad. Oof, I don't know. I'm scared. That at the fall. That at the fall. That at the fall. Placencia. There's this intense, just sweetness. Lights of leather. It's just a lot of just things from the wrapper itself. And there's a Nicaraguan puro. I'm going to love this too damn much. This is also torpedo. I'm just do three cuts with a cutter that has a back to it. Ooh, ooh. I'm getting a little coffee note. This is a different setup. I'm kind of positioned off centered from my setup a little bit to give you guys so I can stay in the middle of this green screen. I meant so I could stay outside in this this nice scenic area. There's more notes on like the wrapper and the smell of the foot than there is on the cold draw. 
cold draw, I'm getting a lot of sweetness and chocolate. That's basically about, about it. I'm not getting much of what I'm getting from the smell of the wrapper on the actual cold draw. It's just... That's the part as loud as I have ever heard it. Why is this so... No, 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 no. I did two back to back that was like ultra loud, like the loudest I ever heard. No. Oh, chocolate into espresso. Spice, a little spice in there. Leather. No, oh, that chocolate is more like cocoa. Yeah, that chocolate is more like cocoa. More like baking spice. This leathery earthiness to it. This is sweetness to it. Oh my god. Give it for Placencia to make you like overthink. Look at that beautiful ash. I'm not too sure there's a ton on the middle. We'll see. So far, construction themes. Basically, not flawless. Construction seems perfectly fine. Construction seems perfectly fine so far with the cigar. This might be a one time thing with the green screen. It all depends on how the end game looks. Hopefully. This video came out fine. Definitely leather and earthy. The spice is simmering down. The espresso comes at the very end. And then just the taste of it is cocoa and some type of tobacco sweetness. It seems like there's a small tunnel in the cigar. Just want to point that out. A small semi tunnel. So far, no canoeing. As I start to develop more notes and try to break down the cigar more, Let's look into the background of the cigar. So what exactly do we have here? We have a six and a half by 54 torpedo, which this cigar, this the wrapper, the binder, the filler, all being a Nicaraguan puro. All coming from the same region, from the very infamous, one of the most largest company that does a lot of projects for other companies, Placencia. A little information with the cigar too is it's long filler. There is a podcast I'm a part of on Soka Soft Assassin's YouTube channel. On those podcasts, we basically break down a lot of information on cigars, from long filler, short filler origins, uh, wrappers, binders, taste notes, what to look out for when you're a rookie, to intermediate issues, to rookie issues, to every type of things. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of the podcast, just to give you guys a fast explanation of the difference between long filler and short filler. Long filler burns easily and slower, while short filler burns a little more faster and it's kind of more rougher. 
on the burn. It might cause more canoeing issues, tunnels, and all kind of sorts. That's just a fast synopsis. But again, if you'll watch the podcast that we release every single week, if you do watch the podcast that should be released weekly, a lot of information about cigars will be placed there. But continuing, the last two bit of information I can offer you guys is that this cigar is supposed to be a medium to full and the MSRP of the cigar is $45. If you do want to purchase a box of these cigars, the box does come with 10, which means the box costs 450 bucks at MSRP. I'll let you guys know, this is also a very limited run. 3,000 of these boxes were created. 1,500 came to the States, while the other 1,500 is for worldwide sale. So half came to us in America. The other half is spread throughout the world. If you do want to try this cigar out, last reminder, it is $45 per stick and $450 for a box of cigars. So please keep that in mind so you won't get gypped. As I'm approaching that second third, it's like a nuttiness to it. I know it's a spice before, but I'm also getting like these baking spices, like almost like a cinnamon, but quite less than that. Almost in the realm of like nutmeg, cumin, something like that. Also getting this nice cedarness to it. This year, I'm gonna do my very best. Yeah, there's a tunnel. That is a mean tunnel. Right in the middle too. Almost like an eye. It's almost like an eye. Look at that. Yeah, it seems like this cigar is kind of riddled with a few tunnels. I don't know what I feel about this cigar. It's definitely is flavorful. I guess I just kind of had my expectations a little too high. I just got to come down from that mindset. So I'm just going to like reset my brain for a fast second. And let me just take in the cigar one last time. I am getting some nice notes in there. That cocoa is very good. The espresso, the tail end kind of chilled down a little bit. It's still a nice robust cigar, in my opinion. Okay, spice is slowly coming back. I'm getting more baking spice than I'm getting peppery spice. It's ever so slight. Everything seems like it's so balanced because other cigars I've had of so far of the Dragon line, some of them have been like freight trains of flavor. Some of them has been very mellowed of flavor. Halfway in, a third in, last third. Everything has been interchanging. I'm trying my best not to compare, but that's something I'm going to be doing at the end of this year. A lot of different Year of the Dragons are releasing. And I'm going to do my very best to review all of them. Or as much as I can that is attainable. Some of the ones I can't attain is the one in China, which is by Oliva. And then the Cuban ones, Remonte and Bacohiba. Those I'm not going to be able to grab. So at the end of this year, I will be making a top 10 Year of the Dragons. And then as well as a top 10 cigar of the year. So I'm going to have two different lists of top 10. The Year of the Dragon version and just my standard cigars I'd smoke this year. With this cigar in particular, it's very almost a medium. The flavor notes are not bursting to me. It's a very nice, pleasant cigar. Like right now, I'm definitely approaching that middle section and I'm getting this very nice, almost like dessert style cigar where it's not overbearing my taste palates. It's not lingering on my mouth because some cigars are harsh you know obviously something with the wrapper is very oily this cigar is very tame the best way to describe it is tame once i'm done smoking the cigar it almost has the same exact smoothness as i had with the gurkha which is after i'm done smoking it i don't taste that on my lips i don't really much taste it on my tongue at the very tail end i'm getting like these little baking spices, very tiny hints of the cocoa, and then it just goes away. I'm not getting any lingering harshness. It's a very smooth cigar. Like I'm still getting that leather. That earth is ever so slight. I mean, it's a nice burn. And because of the long filler, it's burning so slowly. It's allowing me to enjoy the cigar. 
I'm gonna stick to my guns when I say that. Out of all the other cigars, this is the most mellowest. This is not like a smack you in the face with flavor. It's this is the most chilled cigar I have so far. It's good to have cigars that just give you the, a boom of flavors. Sometimes it's amazing having a cigar where you can just chill. This gives me all the right notes. Everything is tame. Everything is calm. And I could just enjoy it. And there's like this sweet tobacco in it. Almost how like I had with the punch that had that sweet tobacco-ness to it. This is a bit more calmer. On that note, I'll see you guys in the last third. Oh my God. Oh, I was trying to pass some time before I get to the last third. That spice came back, that pepper. Oh no, I'm trying to save the, the van. Okay. Oh yeah. The last third is way more spicier. Wow. I'm right here. Oh my God. The very first third was light on the spice, more intense on the baking spices. Second third was a bit more balanced with everything. Everything is tranquil. This last third is just putting a big fight. The notes I described before is still about the same way. There's not really much flavor changes for me, more about spice differences. For me, there hasn't been much flavor changes. It was more along the lines of different spice intensities, both spices in the pepper side and the baking side, just dancing with your palate. Whew. Yeah. It was way more peppery at the end. The express was coming out way more now too. Ooh, that's nice. The spice is playing peekaboo with me now. I don't see any more tunnels. But maybe that, I think it was the first to second, third where that tunnel was very prominent. Now it seems like it's more balanced out with the long filler. I'm still getting predominantly earth. I'm basically at the end of the cigar. And I'm gonna start casting my judgment on it. In other words, my rating system. The cigar became a little bit more spicier towards the end. You have this nice espresso. You have this nice cocoa to it. You have the element of the earth mixed with the sweet tobacco and earth. Honestly, it's delightful. So let's break the cigar down. Let's break the cigar down my rating systems i'm gonna alter this time this time i go by three things construction appearance and taste notes first off construction i'm gonna lean towards a seven the reason why i say that unfortunately i did multiple cuts to the cigar in order for me to acquire a little bit more of the taste notes and just the draw of the cigar itself once i did the fifth and final cut it became almost like a straw that's one thing I do like about torpedoes because the draw becomes so nice and smooth and elegant, all that kind of sorts. Once you have a nice flow of things, unfortunately you did have a bunch of tunnels within the cigar. I'm not sure if because of the tunnels, it kind of altered my cigar any type of way. There is times where I felt the cigar was kind of bland midway third in second, third kind of went a little bit blend where i did describe it being mellow i'm not too sure if the tunneling caused issues with the cigar itself but i'm just gonna give the construction a seven i'm not too sure how many of them have tunnels when you do smoke it keep an eye on the ash to see if you guys experience the same issues draw wise it was perfect after the fifth cut the smoke output was smooth not too overbearing not too much like a cloud coming out it has a great output to it the cigar really didn't canoe much 
the ash is a nice white. So it's a very solid cigar. Let's move on to appearance. I may not possess it, but the box looks quite nice. And the bands. Let's get into the bands. The bands are nice. Let's look at the bands one by one. You have the foot band saying limited edition made in Nicaragua. Then you have the secondary band, the Placencia emblem and it's classic gold with the red. Then you have the main band, Placencia year of the dragon with the golden dragon right there and the golden dragon on the other side with a nice gold trim in the top and bottom and a nice gold stitch in the bottom and top. But for appearance, I'm going to give it a solid eight. I like how it looks, especially it being a torpedo. I love torpedoes. Everything but the cigar looks amazing. So I'm going to give it an eight. Lastly, you have the taste notes. Taste notes. I'm going to lean towards a seven and a half. I feel like things could have been more prominent with some of the flavor notes. Everything seemed to be very tame. I love the fact that when you smoke the cigar, once the draw is done, it doesn't really give you that lingering aftertaste. Some cigars are harsh. Some cigars just linger for a very long time on your lips, on your palate. Sometimes when you're done smoking, you're just like, okay, I still taste it. And it kind of bothers sometimes. This one is very smooth. The taste of some cigars do well with each other. It dances and mesh very well. The baking spices with the pepperiness, with that cocoa, the espresso, the earth, the leather, all those components mesh well. I feel like the cigar needed a little bit more of an oomph to it, especially it being a year of a dragon cigar. I just want a little bit more oomph of flavor, especially with Placencia, especially after me having the Ethafol. The Ethafol was just bursting and oozing with flavor. And I feel like the cigar was just a little bit more calmer. The cigar was not really disappointing, but I feel like my expectation was not really met, especially with a company like Placencia. That's my feeling towards it. So I'm gonna give this cigar like a seven and a half. That's my overall feeling of the cigar. I still will say if you haven't had it, go hunt for it before they mark it up. The longer you wait, the more limited the cigar becomes. My honest opinion is grab it if you can, let it age for a bit and give it a try yourself. This is just my opinion on the cigar at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Placencia Year of the Dragon. Until next time, as always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.